The design feature of the Fiat Tipo slash Tempra family is that the hatchbacks differ from sedans and station wagons both in the rear and in the front. And this, in turn, complicates the search for the necessary body parts during repairs. Cars are well protected from corrosion, about 70% of their body panels are galvanized, and on some Tipo models the trunk lid is made of plastic. There are complaints in terms of visibility only to Tempra sedans, the lower edge of their rear window is too high, so when reversing, the extreme rear dimension of the car is not visible. Thanks to the wheelbase, 2,540 mm, which is large enough for a golf class, the Tipo slash Tempra interior will be large and spacious. Even tall people can comfortably sit in the front seats, there is enough space above their heads, and the driver's knees do not rest on the steering wheel. Rear passengers also feel quite comfortable. The plastic from which the interior parts are made is not of very high quality, and loose fasteners annoy with an annoying creak. Particularly annoying lining of the central pillars. The ventilation and heating system, since, due to the failure of the stove, fan speed control, because of which the owners have to use the remaining two or three of its working positions. The Tipo slash Tempra's boot size is average for a car in this class. So the trunk volume of three and five door hatchbacks is 350 liters. Sedan, 500 liters. Station wagon, 550L with the rear seats unfolded, 1100, 1400 and 1550 liters, respectively. Engines. For the Tipo slash Tempra, a wide choice of four-cylinder powertrains is offered, eight petrol ones, starting from the weakest 1.1-liter carburetor engine, 56 horsepower, and ending with the charged 2.0-liter 16-valve engine, 139 horsepower, and three diesel engines, from 1.7L, 57 horsepower, to 1.9L, 90 horsepower. The motor resource of engines averages 250 to 300,000 kilometers. The most reliable and economical are gasoline engines with a volume of 1.6 liters, 75 horsepower, and 1.8 liters, 90 horsepower, as well as a 1.9 liter diesel, 65 horsepower. The weak point of power units is the cooling system, in which leakage of coolant is possible at the junctions of rubber pipes with the radiator and engine. Transmission. Most of the cars were equipped with 5-speed manual gearboxes although sometimes there were modifications with an automatic stepless variator selector. There are no comments about the mechanics, these gearboxes are able to go out the entire life of the machine without any problems. But it is better to refuse to buy a version with a variator, this unit did not initially have a large resource, which, given the age of the cars, is most likely already running out. Suspension. Tipo slash Temper independent front and rear suspensions are a little stiff. Although they are reliable, the only weak point is the rear silent block of the front suspension arm, which quickly fails on our roads, but is not cheap, since it comes with a lever and a ball joint. Steering. All cars are equipped with rack and pinion steering, which in many instances was equipped with a hydraulic booster. In domestic conditions, tie rod ends are able to go 40 to 50,000 kilometers. Brake system. The braking system of most Tipo slash Tempra is equipped with front disc mechanisms and rear drum mechanisms. But for sports modifications, disc brakes were also used at the rear. The ABS system was installed only on request. Purchasing a used Fiat Tipo slash Tempra is a worthwhile purchase for those who does not want to overpay for the prestige of more eminent competitors. True, it is not easy to find a good copy, the technical condition of many of them leaves much to be desired. The owners, having rolled the car, do not want to get involved with the repair and put it up for sale.